What's going on guys? So we are about to take an in-depth look at this Bighorn, which is by Heartland, and I wanna show you something that's pretty interesting about this specific fifth wheel that you may have not seen in this type of floor plan before. So hold tight, I think you're gonna like this video. So this is the 3925 MLP. So what a lot of people would typically see anytime they see the M there is a mid something, whether it's a mid bunk. This has a very interesting design to it, and it's one that I wanna jump straight to. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside of this unit. Walking up the Moride step above steps into this coach. What's interesting is what's on the opposite side of this wall, and I'll get to that in a second. First, let's hang a right and go up towards the master bedroom area really the only bedroom area. Right here is the bathroom. This is one of these really interesting kind of half opening doors. It's on a track system up here so it doesn't take up a tremendous amount of room and you can still kind of squeeze by it when you get into this coach. Walking in, the entry is kind of cramped. It's not as wide as some that I've seen, especially if there's a full size door. But once you get inside, closing the door and being inside here is not too bad. There's a lot of legroom in front of the porcelain toilet. They put a lot of nice trim and some storage here on the side for any type of toiletry supplies. Has a nice solid one-piece shower. I do like the trim. It makes everything kind of stand out and pop, especially with the white one-piece shower unit. A lot of countertop space, especially in this area right here. Has a really nice sink. The bowl is very deep as well. Headroom in here, you probably could be upwards of about 6'3 and still fit comfortably inside of this shower unit. So it's a good amount of space. Plus, very, very large and deep medicine cabinet. Nice mirror and lighting on top. Both the Bighorn and Big Country from Heartland tend to be trimmed out pretty well, and this is no exception to that rule. Going into the master bedroom, King size bed, you have about a foot and a half of space on this side. On the opposite side, you probably have a little bit more than that. I love how they put these little shelves here next to the window so you can charge your phone, as well as another little shelf here, maybe for a TV remote. Thermostat over here has a whisper quiet AC system in the bedroom as well as one in the living room, and they are fully ducted. Has a tremendous amount of front closet area here. You can actually walk inside of it, it's so large. Nice hanging bar across the top. Not really sure why that's there. Somebody might be able to educate me on that. You have plenty of space to store shoes here. Just a huge front closet area. This is really nice because if you have a vacuum and you don't opt to get the Dyson vacuum, you have a tremendous amount of room to store things such as brooms, mops, whatever you might need in this area. You have a lot of cabinet space here as well. Very nice dresser built in. Again, lots of storage. Nice drawers down here. This unit has a TV already mounted in it. Very, very nice master bedroom. And it's not carpeted. So oftentimes you'll see the master bedroom area or the front bedroom area, or even if it's in the back, carpeted. In this specific unit, it's not. Let's make our way to the hallway. Something else that's nice is that you also get the day-night roller shades in this coach. With these, you have the ability to essentially black out the interior if you don't want light to come in if you're gonna sleep in a little bit. Coming down the stairs, going into the living area in the kitchen, very nicely trimmed off on top. They did a great job with the fixtures in this unit as well as the cabinetry. This is a full profile unit, which means the ceiling height is gonna maintain the same height front to back, so it gives you a lot of room for extra storage. You can see here, really nice cabinets, trimmed off very well. The window valances, everything looks really nice. Again, day-night roller shades. You have the table here. You're gonna have the chairs to make this a four-seating table under the bed in the front of the unit. Has nice theater seating, electric controls, heat massage, open close, lighting. Very nice rear sofa. One thing that's really nice is it's not one of those incredibly short sofas. Typically when they put a sofa in the back, you don't get much leg room for cushion space. On this one, you get quite a bit. Plus, of course, you get outlets, USB chargers, and nice little end tables for the uh, ends of the couch. 
has one of those wide view fireplaces nice 50 inch tv again more cabinets lots of cabinets in this coach and they look very very residential so they don't have that rv type feel to them they look like they belong in a home hidden hinges nicely done has a nice sound bar system here controller in the center And I do like the upgraded cooktop. So you have a much nicer gas cooktop, nice gas oven, a lot of countertop space here, as well as additional countertop space on the island. I like that it is a dual basin stainless steel island. And some of these newer coaches are starting to put this really long single basin. Don't really understand the point of it, but this is a nice setup. Again, more cabinet and drawers underneath. And they've trimmed off this island very well again typically a place that a lot of rv manufacturers kind of cut corners and it's not really cutting corners they just don't look for this to be aesthetically appealing in this case they've done a good job in making this cosmetically look really nice nice full-size french door refrigerator let's take a look in the traditional mid bunk area because this is not a mid bunk so first of all you have a sliding door here Coming into this space, you have another sink. And it's a full-size kitchen-style sink. So again, it has a stainless steel single basin instead of the dual basin, which is interesting. I thought this might be a dual basin, but it's a single basin here. This, in my opinion, is probably for a couple who's looking for just a really nice long-term fifth wheel that they can live in or stay in for long periods of time and have just an ample amount of space for towels or you know, paper towels or whatever they might need to store in this huge area. Lots of cabinets underneath, more drawers, and I imagine this is for a washer dryer assembly, which it is. So again, just a tremendous amount of flexibility here. This must be a laundry room. That's the only thing I can guess it is. More pantry space here, you can store more things in these cabinets. This gives those people who are looking for a separate laundry room or laundry type facility the ability to have it in-house in their specific coach this is really cool and this is the first one i've seen like this even though i have seen some of the online um, pictures of the floor plans that kind of show this space this is the first one that i've actually been able to walk through that utilizes it as a laundry room and again in most rvs they would use this as a mid bunk room for additional guests very cool though it's nice you have your control panel right here from the screen you can control pretty much everything your fantastic fan controls lighting it's just a very very well put together system in terms of controlling all of your lighting your slides and your awning and as i pointed out earlier you also have whisper quiet ac units here in the back this coach looks like it can sleep a total of four people two people on the sofa here, and then two people in the bedroom up front. So this, in my opinion, is designed more for a couple who really needs the utility of a laundry room, at the same time having a really nice rear living room floor plan that really offers you a lot of good, comfortable space and a nice kitchen. You don't need a lot of cabinet space here because you could actually put your coffee maker inside there. It gives you a lot of really good space. Now let's take a look at the outside of this unit. So this is gonna be your main basement storage, but there's another storage area right here. One thing I love about these big horns in big countries is the fact that they give you these immense basement storage areas. This thing is simply huge. It's easily three feet tall and four feet wide up here maybe about three feet wide back there, but there is a tremendous amount of storage here, mainly because of the fact they utilize a drop frame. So you have an eight inch I-beam frame right here that's welded to the main 12 inch frame that continues on back. And this gives you that huge basement storage. And right here you have your 30 pound propane tank, one on each side, has the hydraulic level up landing gear system. Of course, this does have auto leveling included. Here's the front area. This is where you would have a generator if you opt for one. 
has a dual battery bank system here and all your hydraulic controls. Plus all the wiring here is actually pretty clean. Oftentimes this is kind of a mess and they've done a good job of having everything all cleaned up underneath here. Looking at the numbers on this specific unit, has G-rated tires, that's really nice. So even regardless of what brand, just the fact that they're putting G-rated tires on here is nice. It has a payload capacity of 2,750 pounds and a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. This is definitely the type of fifth wheel you would wanna haul with a dually. I would not put this behind a three-quarter ton truck at all or even a single rear wheel one ton. Now something that's interesting is the use of slide technology on this coach. Everything on it is rack and pinion except for this front bedroom slide which uses a cable driven system. You can also see these little notched out areas here. This is essentially to help pull this gasket out or push it in whenever you're retracting or extending the slides. And what I've been told about these cable driven slide systems is that they work pretty well and reliably on smaller slides. It's just when you put them on the larger slides that you start to run into the potential of them failing. Another thing that's kind of interesting is that this specific coach does not have an upgraded pin box. Now this does have the 1621 HD, which is essentially a heavier duty version of the standard 1621. And I think the reason why you're starting to see more standard pin boxes, even on your higher end coaches, is because they want you to have the ability to install your own aftermarket pin box to your own liking. In many cases, people are swapping these out with goose boxes or with the Moride rubber pin box or with different types and it makes sense to not include a higher end one if you're just gonna remove it and throw your own personal preferred pin box on the coach. Here's the other side of your basement storage. As you can see, your auto leveling system right here. Over here, you have your wet bay. Very clean, it's very well laid out as well. Nice thick doors, so it uses the much thicker door system where a lot of coaches still use that really thin door, even on their higher end models. Here's the back of your hot water heater and the side of your furnace. Let's look under here real quick. You can see the rack and pinion slide, 12 inch I-beam frame, and your center level up hydraulic auto leveling system. Rib style tires, so I don't know the specific make, but we'll take a look at those in a second. So the tires on this coach are Westlake tires, but what's interesting is they look virtually identical to the Saloon tires that I recommend. And I can almost imagine that they're probably built in the same factory, just labeled with a different brand. But they are an all steel, 14 ply G-rated tire. Coming around to the back of this Bighorn, you can see that it has a fiberglass rear cap, LED lighting, nice ladder to get on top of the walkable roof. Again, it is a full profile unit, which gives it a very large, massive, tall feel and look to the entire coach. Frameless windows, has a very bright white, glossy exterior finish to it with a lot of graphics. Actually makes it stand out pretty nicely. Here's another shot underneath the coach looking at the side of the tires. Again, they look virtually identical to the Saloon tires has the Cree 3000 equalizer suspension on it. Here's your spare tire on this side. This coach also has a nice hitch that's been welded to the back of it. And it's a two inch receiver. So in many cases, it's only gonna be a one inch or a one and a half inch, but this is a two inch receiver on this specific coach. This is currently locked, but behind this panel is gonna be your power cord reel. So you can actually just reel in and pull out your cord. And this specific fifth wheel, which is the 3925 MLP, has an MSRP of $105,659 and an asking price of $69,999. It's about $35,600 off of MSRP. In my opinion, it's not really a bad deal. As long as you get one of these and you look it over real well and you get a unit that was put together well, I don't think you'll really have any problems. Overall though, it is a really cool floor plan for a couple or maybe even a family with some children that are looking for a fifth wheel with a nice rear living room setup, but a full-size laundry room, plus a lot of extra storage. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.